Well, this festival celebrates differences in our community. It also teaches kids to take pride in their own cultures and develop respect and tolerance for others. Al Jerka is the president of the International Institute of Wisconsin. He's more he's here with more on the holiday folk fair. Nice to have you Hi, today. Thank you very much. Thank you for okay. being here. Um, what, to you, what does the, the folk fair represent? The folk fair represents our community. And that's really the theme of celebrating the community this year because it's bringing all the various communities together in one place to celebrate and work together. That's great. Who participates? Just about everybody. Uh, if we look at it through the history, probably there's been hundreds of different ethnic communities. Probably right now we have about 50 different ethnic communities that have participated in the Holiday Folk Fair. And as you know, this is our 70th anniversary, mm -hmm. making us the oldest annual indoor multicultural event in the nation. That's wow. so awesome. Who do you say should attend? I think everyone should attend to find out who their neighbor is. I think a lot of times we just pass each other and don't pay attention to where you're from, what's your culture, what's your heritage. And this gives us an opportunity to share that and to learn about each other in our community. I love these videos. They're just so upbeat. They kind of make me, you know, smile when I watch it. So what will people experience when they, when they come to the folk fair? Well, they experience everything. Uh, anything you can think of, from food, to dancing, to music, to exhibits, to demonstrations, to merchandising, all those kind of things that are expressions of their cultural heritage will be at the Holiday Folk Fair. What kind of demonstration? So, it, you know, pick, pick a specific culture that may be there, and what kind of demonstration would that group be doing? Oh, perhaps maybe, for example, in terms of egg decorating, mm -hmm. could be one of those, you know, which is a very traditional kind of... Uh, how would you say artistic kind of uh, heritage that a number of different individuals have all but year would round be, well, or just not for like an Easter well like for Easter and mm -hmm. for special occasions etc for mm -hmm. that uh, there will also be other kinds of things from uh, say making of corn dolls you know which is a very uh, American kind of tradition something that comes out of the heritage from 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 America mm -hmm. and those will be demonstrated so there's those kind of things that will be demonstrated as we go through the entire holiday folk fair and what That's are neat. some of the special attractions oh the special attractions you know first of all people always like to come for the food mm -hmm. that, that's a big <laughs> thing you know so uh, you know there's everyone asks you what's your favorite well I can't say what's my favorite <laughs> I can't do that that, that would be a real time. problematic for me <laughs> uh, but you know there are some new ventures you know like for example uh, the Dunne Schwaben uh, are going to be doing potato pancakes for the first time. Ooh, and apparently yeah. they're just super, so we're really looking forward to that. Then you can kind of uh, wash your way over made of the Filipinos, and you can get salabat, which is a ginger drink. Mm -hmm. You might like that kind of thing. Or perhaps maybe go over the check and see if this year, if they have their coffin pastry, which has a secret recipe of which the recipe is divided amongst a number of individuals, so no one knows actually what the total ingredients are. Oh, so you cool. have all these different kinds of traditions that have been going on and this is a time to remember and to share those kind of traditions. That's really neat. I just think that sounds like so much fun. Is there any must-have item that you kind of mix into your new pieces? Because I know when I go to certain festivals in no. town there's the one thing I have to have. At Irish Fest, I have to have the stew. I've got to have it, you know? <laughs> like, is there one thing that you, you really particular, I was like, I got to have this when I mix it in with something new? That would be very difficult to say. Yeah? I think what you have to do is you have to really graze. Yes. I think you I'm have hungry. to take someone together with you so that mm -hmm. you can kind of share, you know, try this and a little bit of that, et cetera, and kind of make your way around because there's so much variety. So if you go to some of the other festivals, it's basically that particular food group, yes. if I could say. Uh, but ours is so diverse, you know, going all the way from African to Irish to Czech to Bavarian, etc. So you have all these individuals coming together, which gives you a full range of uh, how would you say delicacies? Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. So it's going on this Friday through Sunday. That is correct. And it's at the Wisconsin Expo Center um, at State Fair Park. Um, again, it's going on this Friday, November 22nd through Sunday the 24th. It's at State Fair Park. It's $10 in advance or $12 at the door for tickets and more information. You can call 414-225-6225 or go to folkfair.org. Great to have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.